We just made these super popular door corner decor pieces using some scrap wood, canva, and light burn. And we're doing another giveaway. I will show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. And this week, we're backed into a corner. A door corner, that is. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make the easiest lowest cost, highest profit laser craft that we can sell this week. <laughs> so as you guys know, we sell door rounds, door decor in our craft booth at the craft shows. So we're always looking for items that'll pair with that. So our door hangers are about 55 to $60 on average. Sometimes that's a little steep. People really love our work but they can't purchase something that's at that price range. So, or sometimes they want a smaller version of that thing. True, true. We do make a 10 inch, but we've got something new this week to kind of go with it that'll keep it at that 10 to $20 price range. We're going to do these door corners. We've seen them around. We've seen them at other craft shows. We think we're going to give our spin on it. We're going to make them 3D, just a little 3D, because I'm trying yeah. to keep them at a low cost point. Easy to make. Yes. Quick to make. Yes. Yeah, easy to just batch out. Like. And low cost for me. And I think they're going to be a high profit item. So I'm really excited to show you guys a little bundle that we've put together this week. And we're going to do a giveaway. We're giving oh, yeah. away a 12-pack of these laser desktop boards, or desktop laser boards. It's the quarter-inch MDF that we use every day. So you can go ahead and give them a try using the boards. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We're going to need some MDF because we're making these things out of MDF. <laughs> and we're going to need some paint. <laughs> and we're going to need some glue. We're going to use this Starbond Thick. That is it. Step two, we're going to make our design. Do not sleep on Canva. It is a very valuable tool. We use it every day for all types of things. And today we're going to use it to make our design. We're going to start in Canva. This is super easy. We're going to start with create a design. We're going to use poster landscape because uh, I want this thing as big as I can get it. That way it'll export as big as I can get it. We'll go to elements. We'll search Halloween graphics. Let's see what we got. I like this blue. And then let's we'll see. Which flying? What do you think about that one? Ooh, she's ugly. This one's a nice little pretty witch. I like the cat on the broom. Yeah, that was a little pretty witch. And now, let's find a ghost. Ghost. <laughs> the one with the peace signs? The one giving the peace signs. <laughs> He's a real laid back kind of ghost. That one had a curly Q tail. Where? All right. There? This guy? Mm -hmm. Let's see. This guy's got a curly Q tail, too. Okay. Alright. So I got all my elements here. Now I need to draw a corner shape. So let's do a rectangle. Add rectangle. I'm gonna bring it out. I'm gonna make it like. I want to make it a quarter inch tall and like 12 inches wide. There you go. Copy paste. Control C, Control V. Whoop, copy paste. Let's turn it 90. Woo, don't hold shift. black because that's our door frame thing. We'll group them and send it to the back. Send it back. Alright, boo. So 
We shake this lady. Ooh, let's get her uh, foot to kind of brace her on the side there. There you go. We'll lose these little dots and stuff. All right, let's uh, take Mr. Ghost to make sure his tail touches. There you go. Nice and easy one. Can't tell what this ghost looks like. He's kind of scary. <laughs> we'll get rid of him. All right, what do you think? I think that's simple. I mean, that's All a great right. one to start with. Ungroup this piece. Let's make this a little smaller. We'll bring it up. There you go. That looks there cute. Yeah. Let's see what size this is. Position. Oh, I can't tell what the whole size. All right. I think we got it good enough. We're gonna file, download. We're gonna download it as an SVG with a transparent background. Now let's jump over to Lightburn and import this guy. Import, it's this one. All right, we got some cleanup to do. Nothing too bad though. We'll merge these guys. So we're gonna come over to the left and we're gonna weld those. So that's my corner piece. Now let's weld the ghost into here. Weld. I wanna weld the witch. Weld. Do we need these stars? No. Delete. Delete. I'm gonna use my scroll to zoom in and get these little tiny stars. All right. What's this supposed to be? Oh, that's gonna cut through the this O, so I'm going to select the O, and I'm going to select this guy, actually, first. Yeah, they're like two pieces there. Can you just delete yeah. those? Well, I'm going to grab them? all of these guys. Let's grab everything here, and then I'm going to go over here and give it a offset stroke. So we'll give it a little bubble letters. Oh, okay. What do you think? Yep, I like it. Alright, we think does that look good? Is that enough letter area? Yep. So you're All gonna right. make that two layers, that part will be two layers. Yeah, this part will be two layers. We'll bring the we'll bring this layer. We're gonna merge this layer to this thing. Yeah, we'll bring I it got, up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we gotta bring the whole thing up then. Let's bring this whole thing up. Grab everything. Boo. All right, what do you think? Uh-huh. All right, let's take this piece and the corner piece, and we're gonna weld. All right, now, let's take this O. We're gonna grab the O, and we're gonna grab this little piece. We're gonna minus front, or Boolean subtract. So cut it. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. Grab my O and then grab this piece. Boolean cut. Now uh, ungroup, control U. And I'm gonna get rid of this piece. And I'm gonna get rid of this piece. Alright, what do you think? Looks good. Pretty easy, right? Make all of these guys. Copy, paste, drag them down here. And then I'm gonna drag these guys. I'm gonna make these a score, so let's make them blue. Everything else is gonna go red. And this will be red. There you go, what do you think? Excellent. Now, ah, coming together. Oh, but it's a little big, it won't fit in the, the bed. How big is this thing? Ooh. Oh. 16 wide. We can bring yeah. that in. Let's shrink it down. Let's tad. Yeah, about 12 sounds good. Alright, that is cute. Alright. That's a cute little design. That didn't take no time. Step three. We're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring this quarter inch MBF over to the X tool P2. <laughs> and we're gonna cut it out. To cut this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and use all of the blue lines as my score lines and everything in red to cut. So for a score on my P2, I'm gonna use 160 millimeters per second 
and then I'm gonna stick with 15% power. And for my cuts, I'm gonna use red, and for that I'm gonna go 10 millimeters per second and 100% power. And then we're gonna hit, oh, I'm gonna select everything and hit start. Now we paint. <laughs> but this is going to be quick, so don't look away. All we're going to do is paint the top piece is orange and everything else black. So this is super quick. That's what makes this quick and easy. Helps keep it cost down low, two colors of paint. As a matter of fact, I bet you there's enough paint on this roller already that I don't even have to put any paint on a plate. Paint on a plate. Paint on a plate. Overhead cam. It's over my shoulder. All right. Like I said, don't look away. This is gonna be fast. Wow. I like doing the black one because uh, I don't need to worry about my edges at all. Yes, that's always super, super nice. That's one one great thing about these is they start out as a basic silhouette. How about that? Garrett refuses to use tape. You want to put it on the tape? I don't need tape, Kim. Not where you're going. We don't need tape where I'm going. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, you're done. Hey, we're done. Well, these are waiting for their second coat. Let's talk about Patreon. We have free files, a monthly Zoom call, a monthly Illustrator class over Zoom. We also offer for our top tier patrons one of these nice t-shirts. We offer behind the scenes and some extra footage. That is the best way to support this channel. It's real time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> without letting me know. You can't tell me when there's a gear change. Fifth gear. <laughs> All right, it's dry enough. Okay. Step five, assembly. We're just gonna use this Starbond thick to glue down boo, exclamation. It's like four pieces. I got the dot. And exclamation. And we still put those score marks on here so you know exactly where they go. Perfect placement. Step six, profit. So we are about seven minutes on design time, seven minutes on cut time, about two dollars in wood. And I think you can sell these anywhere from like 10 to $20, depending on how detailed and layered they are. Right, so something like this, or like this one, you might sell up to $20, um, or more if you add the light kit. This yeah. Merry Christmas, if you can see, it has some lights wrapped has around it. Has a little it. bit of glitter, has some lights. I think you could get 30 for that little guy. And who doesn't love this, this little guy? I know, I know this one will sell. Yeah, so again, Super easy cut time, way faster than the, the door hanger version. We're going to offer these easier. as SVGs in our store. We're going to offer these as an unfinished item in our store. And we're going to have them as part of our Patreon page. So if you're a top tier patron, you get them with your subscription. Oh yeah, that's right. Free funnels. Time for the giveaway. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. You can help us get there, and we will help you by doing some giveaways. We are giving away some desktop laser boards. It's super easy to enter. You just need to comment, like, and be a subscriber. These are the quarter inch MDF boards. We offer these in our store. This stuff cuts like butter. You're gonna love these. These will get you started with our project we shared today. We offer multiple sizes for any desktop laser you may have. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support us over here. And we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Now, I got a ton of things to balance today. This one's a little awkward, <laughs> but pretty easy. I was 6'1 at one point. That's what you keep telling me. I know. Not seen you measure up to that yet. Yeah, I think I showed you in my military <laughs> my military papers that I left at six foot one. I am now five foot eleven and a half. <laughs>